Local high school is hoping to make some much needed upgrades and renovations to their school and they're looking for the funds to do it. Fruit of Monument High School is asking the District 51 school board for remaining funds from the 2017 Bond and Mill levy to help make it easier and safer for students to learn. I spoke with the principal and architect in charge of this upgrade who showed me what exactly needs to be changed. So it's going to be a little dynamic. What Daniel Gardner is referring to is this. The new face of Fruita Monument High School now in the works. When the mill and bond was passed um, a year or so ago, um, the safety and security of this building I think was a priority. Fruita Monument is hoping the school board will allocate the remaining funds from the levy to their extensive renovation project, something that's been in the works for a year. Kind of give the building a facelift and give it a main entry that people are our kids and our community can be proud of. Mismatched bricks, cracks and dents in the concrete, and even a lack of fire sprinklers are all a result of the school's last big addition in the 90s. Besides giving the school a much needed exterior upgrade, these projects would also make it safer. We have multiple exterior doors that really pose a security risk for our students and our staff. Around 49 to be exact. This project would change that with a new entrance. We'll have a roundabout here in, in the front of the school where parents and uh, visitors can drop off students. The main focus of the renovation would be an interior centralized corridor with places for student collaboration. There'll be some soft seating, places for them to sit and, and work. And an easier way to get around. The central spine will connect what used to be the front of the school to what is now the front of the school so that people can find along a central corridor where they're supposed to go. This corridor will also allow for easier access to the school's many buildings. Currently they're scattered throughout the school. This would centralize those. But before any of these projects can go into practice, they first have to get approval from the school board, something that's being voted on in February. Until then, Fruita Monument is looking forward to the day when these drawings become a reality. The school board will vote on funding from the bond and mill levy February 19th during their board meeting. If approved, construction on the school can begin in March.